Kokobashki, it's me, Coco Bechamel, and this is Queen Time, but you already knew that, didn't you? My guest tonight is a seasoned queen. She's a mother hand to all of Sacramento's queens. She is the lady and the tram. She has a huge heart and matching shoulders. Ladies and lesbians, Terence Ryu! Hi! Hi! Hi, Terence! How did you come up with your drag name? There was a tall, beautiful, six-foot dancer I went to school with. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I ever was a woman, that's who I wanted to be. <laughs> and that's how I came with Taryn. I didn't want to be like one of the silly queens. When I first started drag, all the girls were Danielle and Chandra and Racine and Chelsea. And I was like, I want to have fun with it. So I went with Taryn it up, Taryn something, Taryn through you. And then that's how I came up with it. What is your least favorite song that other queens perform to? <sighs> anything pink because I have my own personal feelings about that and I just have my own standards and when you watch pink in the air and then you see somebody on the ground it's just two different things unless it's me what's your favorite place to eat in Sacramento Chipotle I am a basic person <laughs> <laughs> and I've just always liked the fact it's very simple it's always the same the portions are better here in Sacramento than in New York um, and that's my only pet peeve about New York <laughs> I've seen you perform extremely long drag mixes including your um, drag suicides what was the longest mix or song that you've ever done one of the first times I ever did drag suicide and if you um, are not familiar with it it's the audience picks the music and the DJ plays whatever he wants within all those suggestions and it could be anything. It was 22 minutes long and he changed the beats and he would slow down songs and speed up songs and then he would just play the fastest dance number at the end so that I was literally so tired that I was flipping him off the end. Because you dance a lot. I used to dance a lot. I, I'm, I'm, you know, father time. I'm mother nature. <laughs> I'm older than God. So it's catching up to me. But I try to dance a lot. It just depends on um, if the crowd's are really pumping you up, you just want to go for it. And then if the crowd's dead, you just kind of like, how fast can I get through this number? <laughs> Tell us about your background in dancing, because I know you have some. I was a professional dancer for 10 years. Um, I actually went to college um, at Sacramento State for business, took a dance class and switched, got <laughs> disowned by mom, <laughs> Filipino mother. But yeah, I did it professionally, um, taught dance at Sac State um, for a year and a half before I decided that I wanted to retire because I started to hate it. But I'm trained in musical theater, tap, ballet, um, hip hop, kind of some of everything, so that way um, yeah, I, and that's what I use for my inspiration when I, I'm doing uh, certain numbers, so... Do you prefer to perform at a club, at a theater, or at a private party, at a house party? House parties are uncomfortable. I always think like it's kind of creepy, you're changing in somebody's bedroom, and you're all like, are they like filming me or something? <laughs> like, we just did a Filipino party, and it was kind of awkward because there's the older white man who's sitting there looking at me, playing, please don't come near me, and the Filipino woman who's all, yay! I actually prefer um, theater. I like the fact that I prefer to perform, and I think that some girls are all about how fast can I collect money and I'd rather give somebody a performance so when I can do a theater setting I can actually perform and just be more dramatic and, mm -hmm. and you're not worried about you can really think about the piece and, and just perform for them. Do you have a favorite wig color? Blonde. Your house is crammed full with antiques and flea market treasures. How often do you shop for these? Who did you talk to? Um, I actually just did some purging and gave all my old stuff to my sister-in-law and went shopping just two weeks ago for a brand new 1912 sewing machine. That's my newest side table next to my bed. Um, but I love decorating. And so 
Um, I'm really excited the fact that you can actually walk back in my house now, because <laughs> before you kind of had to scoot through it. So, all the time. Do you have a pet? No. I had a pet. My parents kept it. Oh. <laughs> that went dark really fast. <laughs> no. I've had cats, I've had dogs. Yeah. Also, at least for a moment, we can change the background. Is there any place you'd like to be? So I'd like to go to a beach. How do you like that? <laughs> Bronze, blonde hair. <laughs> Have you ever got starstruck in your life? No. Have you ever lost your wig during a performance? All the time. So, um, remember that dance background? <laughs> so no one ever told me about gluing my wigs down. <laughs> So when I used to be real young, I would turn, and my favorite one was I turned, and as I'm halfway around, my wig's flying off my head, and I just reach out and grab it, <laughs> and put it right back on in front of everybody. People must have thought that was on purpose. Um, well, okay. they're so used to me <laughs> losing something. I mean, if you could really see the beginning you. <laughs> they were bad. I always say they're like hard when you knock on wood. Hard. Hard. <laughs> when was the last time you washed your tights? A week or two. Three weeks. The black pair in the shower last week. <clears throat> what would be one advice you would give to a new queen? Learn the trick. Pet peeve is when a girl just shows up thinking I put lipstick and a wig on my head and I deserve to get all the pain in the world. My advice? Learn it. Would you say Sacramento Draxon changed the past years? Um, it's changed for me three times since I've um, lived in Sacramento and learned about the drag community. Um, when I was 21, it was completely this 35 drag queens running around performing, doing all this stuff, and then it kind of died out. And then it started up again, and then it died out, and about five years ago, when the Apples and the Mays and the Anitas and all the young ones who are taking my job, I'll deal with them later, um, started coming around, that's when it exploded again, because it literally for a while was down to like this little handful of people. And I think that's one of the reasons why I became who I became, because I stayed through with that, all of that. But, uh, I'm old. Do you know what time is it? Rapid fire question time? Yes! Okay. What is your favorite curse word? Fuck. Name a country you will never visit. Poland. Glam or camp? Yeah. What turns you off? Bad tea. Liza Minnelli or Cher? Cher. Twinks or bears? Otters. And we are done! Now, it's time for the third last part, which is... Ask me a question! Why Sacramento? We did a little research, actually Mr. Christian now did, and um, Sacramento was not a shithole, but at the same time it wasn't as expensive as, let's say, San Francisco or LA. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Also, tell us, what are your social media? Um, I have Instagram, Taryn through you. I have Facebook, they made me do my legal name. And I do Twitter if I actually paid attention to it, so <laughs> it's not really And of course, remember to follow me on my social media. So the obvious set of Facebook, Twitter, that's mostly just for watching other people. Instagram, to see all my cool pictures, and YouTube, to see DMs, and more. So remember to follow, like, subscribe, befriend, um, give me ideas for rapid fire questions. Because, you know, I'm slowly running out of them. <laughs> Suggest your questions in comments below. Three, two, one. Party! Party!